What's up, guys? I'm back with another video. We're gonna go over how to SP FPS fix uh, Planet Side 2. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly go to the browse local files. Well, first, we want to make sure that this game is in the updated version. So, we'll go and up update it now. While at it, we're gonna go ahead and change the launch parameters of uh, Planet Side 2. So, what we're going to do is set launch parameters and enter this in. But since mine's already entered in, that's how you enter it in. So while this is updating, we'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and teach you how to get all the information. And let's see. Okay, so in order to get this information, the amount of CPU cores, the amount of maximum memory, the amount of threads. So if we're going to need a program called Spassy, Spassy will tell us the exact precise amount of maximum memory through megabytes and we need to know by megabytes because um, this is measured by megabytes and if you want to you can also pr put in slash high and what will that will do is that it will turn it into um, a high priority process once the program is started which is pretty kind of cool you know just put in a high put in a slash high we'll put in a high priority process if you want to if you don't want to you don't have to but you can but slash high does do that put into a high priority process once the game starts automatically. So um, while uh, Spassy is right now being loaded, technically I usually have it loaded before uh, before I start um, recording. But in this case, um, right now we just let it analyze. Um, but we'll be first going to the CPU section so that we can get the amount of cores. Obviously, I have two, but I need to show you how you can get the number first. Okay, so as you can see, um, it's right now installing the update. So we, I need to let it finish first installing the update because um, it won't work if we don't have it at its latest version, if you know what I mean. Okay, so it's at the it's at, um, operating system right now. So I have a Windows Okay, so I got all the information. RAM, uh, obviously RAM right here, 4,096. 4, um, that means uh, 4,096 4, megabytes of RAM, which is also is um, four gigabytes of RAM. So we copy that and we place it here. Um, the mod is, we go to get the threads and then the CPU count. If you don't have threads and if this doesn't show up right here, you can go ahead and get rid of this option right here. Um, but I have four threads, so I put it there, and I put CPU, I have two. So as you can see, it says right there, cores. Cores is CPU count, so after that, we just simply close out of this. We copy this, and then we paste it into the launch parameters like what I did earlier. Properties, set launch options, and it's right there, and you paste it right into there. After that, you bit simply launch the game, and uh, once you launch up the game, you must have it up to its latest version. So let's go ahead and let it update real quick. While it's updating, we can go ahead and go travel to the uh, launch locate the local files of the game. Browse local files by going to the properties of the game. And we scroll all the way down. Scroll way down to find planetside.exe. Which that's not it. Planetside, there we go. So we both want to. But once I gotta wait for the update to finish though first. This needs to finish first before I mess with these two files, which I'll show you a little trick. If you want to change the other options on this game, you can also change it into the user options right here. Overall quality, we could set that to one, 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 one. Uh, LOD sync AO maximum FPS. We can also unlock the FPS to six hundred or six thousand if we wanted to. Uh, turn that to zero. Mm, that's about it. Everything you want to you want to touch everything up. You can don't mess with anything else below. Control S, which is save, and then uh, we basically 
does this. We can we can mess with that though. We can mess with this. No user dot user options dot i and i. You can go ahead and mess with. I think it's just about done uh, updating right now. I believe it's just installing. I don't know. Sorry, the video is taking longer than usual, but uh, it likes to take its time. Yep, as you can see, that part. So right now it's um, extracting the 64-bit uh, version of uh, Planet Side 2. Um, what we're going to do is that we're going to be um, changing, switching these two out. So we're going to copy, control, copy, paste. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna have a backup of these files. So we're going to go ahead and take you, control C. So we copy the name, delete it. Wait, no. Whoops. <laughs> uh, silly me. Control Z. We get rid of this one. Wait, we copy the name of the 64 bit version. And then we delete it. And then we paste it right into here of the 32 bit version. So it acts as if we're using the 64 bit version, but we're using the 32 bit version actually. So. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and launch the game and then it'll run in the 32-bit version instead of the 64-bit. Now if you want to get your files back and want to return it to back to normal, just go to validate game assets and click that button and you can, and it'll automatically turn it back to its original state. So technically you don't have to, you know, do it through there. Um, after that, um, we're basically done. We just FPS fixed Planet Side 2. So um, then you just press